Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of my $1 online poker sit and go series. As always, first place will earn $3.55, second place will earn $1.91, and it's a $1 buy in. So, the point of the series is I'm trying to win 100 of these just to be able to learn and play poker because I only recently started trying to actually learn and get better at the game. I only started playing online poker about maybe four weeks ago and only really seriously started getting into it about two weeks ago. So let's get started. So last night I actually played a game of real poker with family and friends, $5 buy-in and the winner got all of the buy-ins and I lost just because playing in person is very different than playing in line. Um, had a decent stack for a little while, but then just had a horrible streak of hands and lost it all. Went all in with a three and a queen pre-flop and wasn't able to get anything off of that. Let's see here. We'll fold on that. <clears throat> so I'm trying to find like the sweet spot of how long these videos are going to be. I'm debating somewhere between like 15 minutes and like 25 minutes uh, just because the end game for me is the more more important parts like I think that's the most interesting parts of each poker table to see because you want to see how you play during the late game like early game it's pretty pretty easy to play you just got to figure out which hands you want to go in on and try getting the maximum amount of chips to start and when people start dropping I think that's when it's the fun part but let me know what you guys think I'm just gonna call on this because this guy obviously has something that is good or at least he thinks is good or he's trying to bluff by the pot not too sure what he's gonna try to do at this point there's a potential straight showing and he could have pocket pairs we're just gonna call to see what he has I'm really hoping it's not pocket aces or pocket kings but I mean with a pair of queens we kind of just have to keep going to see what's going on now he could have the potential flush and he is going in all in I feel like he might have the pocket ace I have to see it I have to see what it is oh there's the flush all right All right, for this episode, we're actually going to be doing two games. Uh, I'm just going to add in the, the last little bit of game one because it just ended so quickly and I didn't really think there was anything of value to create highlights from. Now, in, in that situation, obviously, I should have folded. Like, he was betting really aggressively, but part of me really just, like, thought, like, I just, I just had to see it because the way that he was betting, it was very obvious that he had something... Um, off the bat that he was feeling really confident about but part of me just thought like I couldn't just fold on pocket queens and I was willing to take the risk because you know these are only a dollar buy-ins at the moment and obviously my pattern might change like you know as I play higher value buy-in tables but I I would really kick myself just folding on pocket queens in that situation. I I was hoping for the third, the trip queens there, but obviously he was able to pull off the flush at the very end. And yeah, it was a poor decision, but live and learn. You're not going to win. Like what I've been seeing in other videos is that you're not going to win every single match. You just have to figure out how to win more matches than you're losing just to you know not lose all your money so at this point i have ten dollars deposited in this current batch which is my bankroll here at the top thirteen dollars paid another dollar to play this game and each game that i win i win like three dollars and fifty cents so let's see high card king let's see if we could scare somebody off now we'll, we'll check we'll check just because potential highest pair here might as well see it. Okay, so they don't have anything, neither of them. Um, so I'm just going to go with the 80% bet to see if I could buy it. Okay, they called. And again, with nothing. So let's check it. And let's see what everyone has. 
he wouldn't have folded at that point with the pair at the last card there. So good thing I didn't bet again. All right, ace nine. So this is a range I feel comfortable playing. We'll call. And I've been trying to figure out what range of cards I feel comfortable playing on. And if it's an ace and anything above a nine, I'll play, even if it's offsuit and ace and anything lower as the same suit, I'll play. Let's see here. Just gonna call with, yeah, we'll call, see what we get. Okay, we'll check again. And again, just because he's betting such low dollar amounts, I feel like I could just continue playing, but I don't wanna just fold to every hand at this point and just playing around, testing the water, seeing how things are. All right, potential flush here with the jack high, and this guy is betting, we'll call. See if we could chase the flush. Okay, pair of sevens. Still flush potential, but it's not gonna look likely. At this point, we'll fold. All right. <clears throat> Let's see here. All right, seven deuce. That is a horrible start, so we're just gonna drop that. Like I said, I'd really appreciate some feedback, like how long you want these episodes to be. Um, I'm totally willing to even upload the full games sometimes. Like I'll, I'll mix it up. Like sometimes it'll be like 15 minutes. Sometimes it'll be 25 minutes. Sometimes I could even upload the full game if you guys want to see that. Uh, just let me know in the comment section below what you'd be willing to watch and what you, what range of time frames you'd be willing to watch. Just so I know because um, I'm only a thousand watch time hours out from being monetized at this point, um, or at least able to apply for monetization. I'm hoping that this channel could get monetized, but we'll see, we'll see what happens. That's, all right, so here we go. We have a nice hand at this point, potential flush with the straight flush too. So we're gonna play this and uh, see what we could get. He bet 80. We're gonna have to call it at this point. All right, so a decent amount of people think they have something that they're going for, including myself. All right, the potential flush is there. So we're going to bet 80%. Let's see what we could get. If we could bait any of these people to play. And at this point, I might be pretty much pot committed. So we'll have to see. I mean, if we have the flush, we'll have the ace high flush. So, okay, they're raising. At this point, they might be able to get the, again, all in. I mean, I, I'm I'm gonna have to do it, I'm gonna have to. It's gonna really pay off for us or really not, we'll see. And there we go, we chased the flush and it did not work out for us, wow. Okay, same session here, we're going in, this is the last one, just to see if we could recoup our losses at this point. Um, so pay $3 in this episode at this point. So let's see if we can win it all back in this game. And I'm not sure if I'm implementing the strategy wrong or like they had to have good cards, but I just need to know at what point should I be folding and like what point I should be raising. Because at that point with the last hand, I had two clovers here and two clovers in my hand. And if I would have had the flush, I would have totally won that, um, but it was just super confusing seeing the cards on the flop and wondering why they would continue going on. So the guy had a pair of aces up here. And I forgot what this guy actually won with, but wow, incredible. But like I said, you have to learn from your mistakes and sometimes it's gonna work out. There's a little bit of luck. I mean, well, decent amount of luck involved. You just gotta know when to go in and when to go out. All right, so potential flush draw here. Um, off the flop, I'm hoping. Fingers crossed. We'll call it. So if we get anything from the chip lead over here. Okay, so it's gonna be really rough trying to go for the flush at this point. I'm not gonna get baited in at this point. I'm just hoping for a pair of jacks, which could be losing to the pair of kings here if anyone actually has it, and we'll be out of that. Five king, and I'm the first to bet. Let's see, how do we wanna play this? We'll try raising four, see if 40, see if we could get anyone out. We'll play it just to see if we get the king, the pair of kings here. 
All right, so we already got two people folded since the raise was there. Let's see if we can limit it down to just like two or three people playing. Okay, let's see what this guy does. All right. All right, so there's a chance for a straight, assuming that we get the 10 here coming up. So let's see here. How do we want to do this? We'll bet 80%. see what this guy does he might try to raise okay no I actually was just able to buy it cool see off of that hand I learned that since I went out strong and like pre-flop and then the flop came and then they saw all those cards like man he might have the straight he might have like you know a pair of aces or a trip aces something so I broke my pattern of what I normally did for this particular table just to show them like hey this is what's going on you should fold so I'm learning that mind game aspect of it slowly but surely. Like that that's why I'm trying to play more and more games and I'm willing to play more and more of these one dollar tables just to learn the psychology and like the strategy behind it, because ultimately it is a real strategy game. You could still win if you have a horrible hand. Just depends on your bet. Betting betting is more important than I thought is what I'm trying to get at. As I've read in the comments, so you you guys have been teaching me a lot in addition to like a bunch of YouTube videos I've been watching, like betting patterns, uh, betting out of position, and like it it it's cool. I like it. I love poker. It's a lot of fun. Three queen. I'm already in. So if everyone checks, I'll just continue on. Let's see, chip lead's not gonna raise. All right, this guy. One on one situation here. We'll just check it. I got my queen, so there's a chance we could just get him out. I'm just gonna bet low, hoping that he just continues on, but most likely he'll fold. I don't wanna just double check it because I would get nothing, and there's a chance that he could actually get something off the next card. All right, so potential flush, no chance for a straight here. Let's see what these people do. He, chip lead is still in. Do I want to pull it off with such a weak high flop card or high flush card we're just gonna give it to him see what i'm finding is you have to get a good hand in addition to someone else thinking that they have a better hand all right so ace ace eight i'm gonna play even though i'm in early position just to see what we could get off suit but that'll be fine okay there's a chance that someone could actually have something at this point all right this guy bet pair of aces could still beat it uh, but there's a chance that they could be going for the flush draw at this point so I put enough money into this one okay would have worked out because I would have had nothing could have the straight here if a nine popped off with the last card all right yeah the way that these guys are playing I wouldn't have felt comfortable playing with the cards I had and where I'm at this guy with the all in. Ooh, the call. Oh, wow. This guy just beat out chip lead. Good on him. Good play. All right. Nine queen off suit. We'll have to see. I'm hoping that everyone just kind of checks this. We have a new chip lead. This guy probably is tilted at the moment, and he'll probably go all in at some point. So we got to keep that in mind. All right. Pair of sevens. Yikes. We'll check it. Someone has to have a seven, right? I'm impressed. No one does. All right. Let's keep checking it. I mean, obviously, if anyone bets at this point, like this guy did, we're just going to be out because we have no reason to be in on this. Uh, potential flush showing with the diamonds, uh, trip sevens, just no reason for me to be there. All right, what did he have? Three of a kind sevens, good on him. All right, potential flush draw here with the 10 high. Do we wanna play it depending on, okay, we're already halfway in, so we're just gonna go for it. All right, no flush for us today. All right, that, that sounds about right. Sometimes you're just gonna have these rough sessions, which I totally understand and am willing to accept. It's just kind of a bummer sometimes. I'm just gonna fold. 
All right, so we're looking for our all in hand at this point. So I'm still in the money with these four people here. If I could just double up all my chips from one of these people, I'll still be in decent shape. All right, potential flush. All right, come on. 5-2, yep, that's an immediate fold for me, especially in this position, of, in this current state of the game. A two offsuit will be out. We're looking for our, our all in hand because these three are with me at this point. They're all waiting for it also. So hoping for, all right, here it is. Let's start the chain. Is this guy going to do it? Is he going for, oh, he's not. All right. Able to buy that one. Queen nine offsuit, potential straight. I'm in such early position and they're off suit, so we're just not going to go for it. At the, like I said, waiting for the all in hand at this point. All right, I would have had nothing. We had a queen, but someone could have the potential flush with the hearts. All in here. Nine and Jack. I'm already in, so I'm just hoping everyone checks. Please don't go all in. Uh, potential straight. Potential here. Come on, just check it. Just check it. Come on, chip lead. Don't do it to us. Oh, nice. All right. We have a pair of nines, so that's the. He could be waiting for the flush. Let's bet. See if we get him out. Are we gonna be able to buy this or not? Okay, cool. We bought it. Okay. Ace ten. All right. Offsuit though, and we're already halfway in, so obviously we're gonna play it. Assuming this guy doesn't do anything wild. All right. This guy might go all in, in which case I would totally call for this hand. Uh, okay, so we have nothing. This guy's such low chips at this point. Um, I'm going to see if I can buy it off of him. This guy went all in. Oh, man. All in with such low chips. Does he actually have anything? All right, we'll call it. Oh man. Oh, we got it. Okay. We were able to get really lucky there and able to double our chips. Like that one, we had no business of winning. Once I saw his cards, I was like, oh man, that's game over right there. But, all right, so these two could still go on at this point. Do I want to chase the flush with the queen high? Might as well try. I mean, chip lead is out. So, head to head here. All in. Do I want to do the all in with the potential flush, queen high? Would, if we do it, we'll still be in the. All right, we'll try for it. We still have a thousand chips to play with. All right, we got nothing so far, and looks like they'll take. Oh, I got pair fours. Yes. All right, cool. Okay, just like that. And we have a pair of aces to play with. This is going to be great. All right. So let's see if we could try raking in a little bit more from them. I mean, they're both already in, so they have to be committed at this point. This guy too. All right. So I have the highest potential pair. Um, let's see. I wonder if this guy's going to go all in. If I bet, he might have to go all in. So we'll see if he does. All right, he just calls it. What's this guy going to do? All right. Potential flush is there. If we get one more card, we'll have the flush with the ace high. So we'll check it to this guy. Let's see what he does. All right, he checks. Okay, so the flush isn't there. The potential best hand out here is the pair of aces. Um, unless they have the flush draw with the two clovers here. Let's see if we could buy it off of the guy at the end here. All right, he folds. 
see what this guy's going to do. Okay, he folds too. All right, we were able to take it and secure second place. Um, so this guy's going to have to go all in here. It could be this hand. Let's see what this guy does. See, we, we just got really lucky with uh, some of the all-in calls that these people were forced into. Um, let's see here. Queen 8. Do we play it for the potential chance that he'll go all-in? We have enough chips to recover from it. We'll play it. Let's see if he just checks. Okay. He checks, so we'll let him decide how to run this. Okay, since we have nothing, we'll let him run it again. And there we go. At that point, let's see if he had anything... Um, do I want to give him more chips? Let's see if he's willing to bet half. Okay, I was able to take it from him since he has such a low stack. Uh, let's see, 9-5, potential flush. We'll let these two play it out, though. See if we can take them all out. I would have had a pair of 9s. All right. Let's see. All right, he has 200 left, so I'm guaranteed to at least make my buddy back, assuming that he doesn't go on a super large run here. Okay. He had to have, oh, okay, I thought he was about to pull off the flush draw there. All right, so just head-to-head -head at this point. So, all right, this is going to get interesting. Let's see how this plays out. Let's see here, queen, eight. I feel like I have a decent chance of winning this one. Uh, let's see if we can raise it. Let's see what he does. If he raises it, then he thinks he could win it as well, in which case we'll call. Oh, he folds. All right, that's... Didn't see that coming. All right, eight ten potential straight. We'll call. Let's see here. Potential straight is gone at this point. We'll check. Yeah, I would have nothing. No business in being this if he if he bets. No business whatsoever. So he could totally buy this one if he wants. Yep. Waiting for the perfect all-in hand at this point, and a 10 and a 3 is not going to be that hand. So, I mean, if he just... Okay, we'll check. I'm a pair of 10s, we'll bet. Oh, okay. Um, how do we want to do this? 60%. Let's see what he does. Unless he actually has the queen as well, in which case we'll check to him. Let's see what he does. He might try to buy it. Uh, for 300, we'll call just to see if he actually has it. Okay, I took it. All right, so 8-6, potential straight. He just lost that, so he might be a little bit more aggressive at this point, and this is offsuit. We got to see what, what's in it, though. Nothing. All right, if he bets, we'll be out. Uh if he bets anything, we'll be out of this one. Okay. Yep. Straight trash. All right. Who wins this? Okay. Big blind going up. Okay. Pair, pair of pocket eights. All right. We'll play this. Let's see. We'll raise it. See if we get anything from him. Okay. He calls. At this point, I have two pairs. Let's see here. Best possible thing he could have trip tens. Uh, there's a potential chance for the flush here. Let's bet 60%. He could, if he goes all in, I have a feeling that he has the trip tens. Okay. We bought it. Let's see here. Eight. Eight ace, we'll call. Even if it's off suit. This is within the range I feel comfortable playing in. At this point, I have a pair of eights. Okay. He could have the pair of jacks, which would beat me, or he could be trying to chase the flush. Uh, we'll bet. Just because we do have a pair of something, and chances are he might not even have the pair of jacks and could try to go for the flush. All right, that worked out. Okay, ace five. All right. Um, what does he do? Potential state, chance for a straight, and my five would be the kicker, so do I want to play it? It's off suit too. We won't play it, we'll let him have it. 
Okay, Ace-9, that I feel more comfortable playing with, even if it's offsuit. Okay, because he, he hasn't bet preflop thus far, so the fact that he did that and broke his pattern shows that he might have had something. At this point, I have a straight, so I'm just going to see if I could try buying it off of him. Let's see if we could pull him in. I mean, there you go. He's going to fold, but at least bought this. There it is. Okay. Let's see here. Jack three. Let's see. We'll check it. Potential flush. Ooh, three of a kind. We'll let him think that he might have it. And I'll call if he bets anything. All right. So I'll make it seem like I'm thinking about it. Like, huh, do I really want to play it this way? Uh, however, he does have the chance for the flush. So we're just going to call it and just play it this way. And again, he could actually have the flush here. So we'll just keep calling it, see if we can pick at him. And again, uh, I'll bet small, making him think that I'm trying to bluff him out. If he, okay, cool, took it. All right, so potential flush chance here with the ace high, we'll call. All right, let's see what he does. Okay, at this point he'll, okay, so he might have the pair of queens. He might check it to us just to let us think that we're going to bluff it. At this point, my chance of a flush is gone. Highest thing that I could do at this point would be a pair of aces. Let's see, he's really thinking about it, so I'll check not to give him the satisfaction of, you know, if he actually has it, he'll try checking it to me. Let's see here, what does he, what is he going to do? Check it again. Two pair. At this point, I have no business being in this hand. He could have the flush uh, in addition to the full house if he has either of these cards. If he bets anything, we'll be out. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> wow, those are, those are rough. Okay, so potential chance for a flush here. Um, he just gives it to me. All right. Let's see here. 7 2. That is rough, but also chance for a flush call it we have chip lead at this point unless he goes all in then we're not going to do it even if he bets i'll have to debate whether or not i'll play it because my flush high would be the seven okay seven induces so i have two pairs here let's see here what is he willing to do is he willing to it's 80 percent see if he's willing to go in for it he might think I'm just trying to buy it at this point, or if he's chasing the flush. Okay. Let's see here, Jack. Jack Deuce. He's going to have to go all in at some point here. Let's see here. I have high card Jack. I'll check it to him. Okay, still nothing. Easy check. Okay, a pair of Jacks. Let's see if I can make him think I'm trying to buy it. What's he going to do? If he goes all in, I'll let's see here. Okay, he, he didn't even want to take the chance of the 200. Let's see, potential flush with the queen. Let's call it. All right, let's see what this guy does. If this is his all in hand, then we, the right move in the situation would be just to call it. All right, let's chase the flush. What do you got? Oh, a pair of eights. Oh, this is not good. Okay, I got my pair of queens. Please don't be another eight. Yes. All right. We got it. All right, guys. Let me know what you guys thought about how I played it. If you guys are going to call out any specific hands, let me know, like, what the hand was. Like, if you're going to mention, like, uh, an A6 offsuit that I mentioned, say, hey, you probably should have played that. Let me know in the comment section below before you give me any feedback just so I know what hand you're talking about. So really happy with the way that one turned out. So we lost two games in this episode, 1-1, one, one, paid a total of $3, and was able to win $3.55. So we're up $0.55. Cents. I know it's not much, but we're getting a little bit more experience playing it. And I'm really enjoying this series. If you guys are enjoying it as well, be sure to hit that like button. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later.